Jamie, that was awesome. And you said it. There are people here from all over the world, and it's a lot quieter here than it was earlier this afternoon, but we're still seeing people coming over to take pictures with this iconic finish line, which, of course, represents different things for different people. And we did have the opportunity to hear some of their stories today. Less than two days until the 128th Boston Marathon, and Boylston Street is already buzzing. This morning, thousands got a taste of crossing the finish line in a handful of Saturday morning races, including middle schoolers, milers, and Red Sox managers. This city means so much for us and the vibe. Sometimes we take it for granted, you know. But the fun didn't stop there. Runners and their loved ones flocked to the finish line all day to take photos and soak it all in. We spoke with newcomers like Alex Bott from Michigan running her first Boston Marathon in memory of her father. My dad ran it when I was a little girl and I was inspired by him early on. So ever since then, I've always it's always been a dream of mine to come and run this race. And Sam Cody from Hopkinton, Mass, who says it's their first time running, but they're no stranger to the course. It starts right near my house, uh, really close to the starting line. So I've, I've grown up around the marathon. We also ran into some marathon vets. 30-year-old Corey Campbell from Windham is running his ninth Boston Marathon this year. Campbell says he he was inspired to start training after witnessing the Boston Marathon bombing in 2013. I'm running for my family. I was here during the bombing. It's super important and powerful for me to be here. I was just a, just a spectator, but I've run every year that I could since. Joan Benoit Samuelson is a running legend, the first woman to win an Olympic gold medal in the marathon and two-time Boston Marathon champion shared some wisdom on Boylston Street. Her advice to Granite Staters. Live free or die. <laughs> Not really. Just trust yourself. Have faith in your training and enjoy the journey here from Hopkinton to Boston. Truly great advice from a legend right there. And the festivities continue tomorrow, of course, before the marathon on Monday. We're live from the finish line. Hannah Cotter, WMUR.